Nana Bob, 10 plus special super sumos. Ohio, digamas. It is time for the seventh video in the International Sumo Appreciation Day catalog, or iSide for short. So basically, this video gives tribute to 10 sumo wrestlers who have won 10 plus tournaments since 1909, officially. This is from least to most to highest, so this is not really a ranking, this is just a matter of fact top 10. Okay, number 10, Aki Bono, Aki Bono, 11 championships from 1992 to 2000, Aki Bono, first foreign born Rikishi. <coughs> To be named Yokozuna, of course. He was overpowering back in the early 90s, 93 to 95, and then he just lost momentum after that, thanks to Takano Hana. But anyway, Akibono, the first sumo, uh, first foreigner to be a Yokozuna in 1993 after Konichiki got robbed, pretty much, of Yokozuna status. <clears throat> so, Akibono, famous star, tried his hand in M MMA, but he loved it and now he's wrestling he's a pro wrestler now that's pretty impressive um just gonna one tick okay. just gonna get some factoids about mr. Akibono This is taking a while. If I did the link system, it's linking to Internet Explorer, not Google Chrome. So anyway, Mr. Akibono, 6'8", 514 pounds. In his, um, when he sumoed, it's pretty impressive. So he's a professional wrestler. His first major wrestling thing was at with World War Wrestling Entertainment. He was part of WrestleMania 21 when Aki Bono beat the Big Show in a sumo championship. But it was actually um, a um, Kefabe sumo match. Aki Bono was, of course, in the win. And then Aki, Bo Aki Bono actually, on March 31st, took down a jobber, Eddie Fagus, in a um, sumo match, <clears throat> in a pro wrestling match, and then in All Japan Pro Wrestling, he was in all, so, he was named Rookie of the Year and Team of the Year at the end of the year with Muto, with Kenji Muto, the great Muto's true identity. He then went to New Japan Pro Wrestling and he nearly got Brock Lesnar for the IWGP Championship. So he was actually, oh no, sorry, and then he, and then he went to Hustle. In the storyline, he was the son of Yingling and the Great Muta, called Monster Bono, being born from a giant egg. So anyway, under the personality of his mother, he computed others so he had a winning streak. After Yingling constantly abused him and then he wanted to meet his father, Monster Bono rebelled and left the Monster Army to become Bono Champ. And then he went to Dragon Gate in 2009, 01 Pro Wrestling, he's been around since then. And he even went back to Old Japan Pro Wrestling. So anyway, um, he was born to a father of Irish and native Hawaiian descent and a mother who was Cuban and Hawaiian descent. He became Japanese in 1996, Akibono did, giving up his American citizenship and changed his legal name from Chad Rowan to Akibono Toro. Yes. He has two sons and a daughter. I wonder if the sons are trying to take over. 
It's his sumo stuff. Kickboxing record, he's won in Aoi Fini Noboku Kakuda. In mixed martial arts, he was 0 and 4. He's won the All Asia Tag Team title twice in professional wrestling. He's won the Triple Crown Heavyweight Championship one time. World Tag Team Championship in Japan for wrestling. He won a Battle Royal in 2010 and he won the Odo Tournament in 2013. Dragon Gate, he was the Open the Triangle Gate Champ. Champion. A three way with Don Fuji and Masaki Mosuzuki. A Dramatic Dream Team. He was six man title holder with Takaki and Awashi. Pro Wrestling gave him the number 115 rank in the PWI 500 in 2006. He's NWA Intercontinental Tag Team Champion twice. For Pro Wrestling 01, Pan Pacific Heavyweight Champion, World Heavyweight Champ in Pro Wrestling 0, and Fuku Kaisen. And in Tokyo Sports Nation, the best team tag team twice and newcomer of the year in 2005. So, yeah, kind of fun. Um, next, Musashi Maru, Musashi Maru, Musashi Maru from Hawaii from 94 to 2002. He won 12 pounds. I mean, 12 titles. Musashi Maru, um, also of Hawaiian descent. He actually, um, I can't recall the, the actual clip of it, but I have, I downloaded something when Musashi Maru was a, was a guest on Japanese, some kind of Japanese variety show. And then he, they did this word game, and then whoever lost would have to sumo against someone who was also American. I can't remember who. But anyway, so Musashi Maru was a Taranto, Taranto, if you want to call it. Next up, Futabayama, Futabayama, Futabayama won 12 titles from 36 to 43. In the in the pre World War II era, uh, he actually had a major league winning streak with 69 title of um, 69 straight matches. Um, back in the 1930s. Um, what's amazing about Futabayama is that he actually fought while having eye problem. One of his eyes, he was blind in one eye. So people didn't know that. So that's how he was great with the sumo wrestling and all that. That's pretty amazing, Futabayama. He was much beloved. I, I have the national sumo um, thingy from 1968 when he died and how fans were like upset. He died of hepatitis, which sucks. Next up, Wajima! Wajima! Wajima, who won 14 titles from 72 to 1980. One of the best uh, Yokozuna in the 70s. I think the best Yokozuna in the 1970s, well, compared to who's number five on the list. The guy who was 24. Title belts, Wajima san. Next up, Takanohana. Takanohana. Takanohana, 22 belts, titles from 92 to 2001. One of the most dominant sumos, I guess the, the last great Japanese uh, Yokozuna, if you want to call it that. Takanohana, of course, having the big rivalry of Akibono, his younger brother, Wakanohana, and of course, Musashi Maru. So basically, Takanohana was like a superstar. 22 titles in 10 years of sumo. That's pretty good. But too, ma too many injuries cost him dearly after like 97. Next up, Kitaomi. Kitanomi. Kitana no Mi. Kitana no Mi, 24 belt, uh, titles from 74 to 84. An essential, essential Rikishi of the 70s. Um, if you know Gaki no Sugai Rende like I do, um, in one of the um, uh, YouTube videos that said uh, Gaki versus Tenso, there's a team competition where Musa, um, Matsumoto and Hamada are on different teams. And then when they try to, like they have the headphones and then they have to try to Read everyone's lips to see what they're trying to say. One of the one of the um, guys I can't remember who um, it was for Team Matsu Team Hamada uh, told Tanaka Kitanomi 
Uchuchi, meaning Kitano Umi, an alien. And um, Tanaka misread it and said Chiana Fuji, which is almost the same as Kitano Umi by phonetics. Um, Kitano no Umi. I guess I can do a, do a thing on him and see what he's, he's all about. Kitano Umi at 21 years old, the youngest ever to be a Yokozuna. And he was a Yokozuna for 63 tournaments, or the equivalent of about 10 and a half years. He won 24 titles, and one of the best, what a one of a series of truly really great Yokozuna who came from Hokkaido, the northern island in Nihon. Following his retirement, he was part of a stable, he was chairman of the Japan Sumo Association for six years, and then he returned to post in 2012. So he was 21 years, two months when he was named uh, Yokozuna. And I, this is like nine years. You know, he's nine years younger than I am. Well, almost nine years. Kitano Obi was one of the best wrestlers in the 70s. And the general public didn't like him because he was so dominant. Anyway. He won five tournaments in 1978. And won 82 out of 90 bouts, which was the record until Hakuho. Not Hakuho. Someone broke into his vibe, but it wasn't Hakuho. He had a big fight with Wajima, of course, for um, Sumo. Wajima was, I mean, Kitano Umi was 5'10 and a half, 373 at his peak. So, anyway, he was remarkably injury free and never seen him miss a tournament. He had 50 straight Kashikoshi, or tournament records of at least 8 wins in the top division. That was amazing. From 73 to 81. However, Chiyona Fuji would be a big rival in the 80s, and he wanted to retire after 84. Well, he won the title in May 84. He wanted to quit, but then the Sumo Association told him, you should carry on until the new stadium opens up. And then he retired. During his career, he won 951 matches. But it was overtaken by Oshio, Chiyona Fuji, and Kaio. And 804 of those victories were in the top division. Only Kaio and Chiyona Fuji beat him for that. He was pretty much a good... Um, he was pretty good. A superstar Rikishi for the essential Rikishi. Oops, I just screwed up. Um, hang on one tick. Yeah. Okay, here we go. And next on the list, Asashiru! Asashiru! Asashiru, 25 titles from 2002 to 2010. He was the first great Mongolian Yokozuna. And he was dominant, but twice he got in trouble with the Japanese politics. Once, um, he lied in 2007 about being an it having an injury and then he was spotted in a charity soccer match in Mongolia. So basically he had to sit out a few basho because of that indiscretion. Seemly indiscretion. And then in 2010 because he had some kind of scuffle with other people outside a nightclub he was forced to resign. So basically 25. I think he probably would have been well he's fourth on the list but I think he would have been closer to third. Number three with 31 Basho wins. Chiono Fuji! Chiono Fuji! One of the best sumo wrestlers of the 80s. I guess the sumo of the 80s, if you want to call it. The, like like Kitano Nomi in the 70s, Takanohano in the 90s, Asashuru in the 2000s, and Haku in the 2010s. He was probably much the sumo and Taiyo in the 60s. So Chiono Fuji, 31 titles from anywhere in the 1990. I have several um, clips of him. Like, in the, f the one clip I shared was when Konishiki upset um, Chiyana Fuji. I don't know what year that was. Late 80s, I think. But anyway, Chiyana Fuji was a godlike figure. 31 championships from 81 to 1990. That's pretty good. He actually was mentioned when ESPN Classic did the sumo things, when they were talking about the grand champion Yokozuna, they showed clips of Chiyana Fuji being named one of the best sumos of all time. He had a lot of popularity. He was, he was one of the most dominant sumos of all time. Okay, number two. 
with 32 bashels victories. Tie ho! Tie ho! So anyway, Tai Ho um, won 32 bashels from 1960 to 1971. That's an 11 year span. That, I believe, is the highest. Yeah, that's the highest of all the guys who have won 10, like the biggest span of wins. From 1960 to 1971. Um, basically, um, what happened is that Tai Ho was a Central Michigan. He had a legendary 45 match winning streak. That's like three whole tournaments, if you know. I'll share the link with you on well YouTube in the Facebook group. Well, in the iSide group, but you know. And lastly, with 33, who else? Ha ku ho! Ha ku ho! Ha ku ho! 33 titles from from 2006 to, of course, 2015, nine years span. So Hakuo, of course, now has full record. He was in Central Rikishi, one of the best ever in the 2010s. Actually, take it over as I showed you. Enough said. So anyway, uh, that is it for this video. Uh, we'll talk about top 10 sumo records that are amazing. Um, and of course, the top 10 Yokozuna and the top 10 personal favorite Rikishi. So anyway, I'm just signing off for now.